ko eh, alas 3 na nga nga mata pa man ko. <laughs> so ever since nag-start ko og kanang make og tami related content, uh, daghan ka ayo na og sigig pangutana, daghang sigig nag-ask uh, where and how to buy their childhood na toys, di ba? Daghan da sin daghan ka og mga tawo nga na trigger and ganahan sila mo balik og doa. Tamiya. And one of, the, one of the main concerns nila is if, you know, the assembly process has become complicated ba? Well, um, the good news is it's exactly the same as it was before. And actually, uh, that's what we're gonna do today. Um, basically, we are going to assemble a Tamiya that I'll be using for future na races. And we're going to be assembling an FMA na chassis. Uh, which is named uh, the Razorback. Cool ka ayo si Agporma and I was supposed to buy supposedly ang akong tapaliton is akong ikatulo nga Mac frame uh, but D and the guys sa shop um, they convinced me nga kani akong paliton ka, and basically walay mahay nindot jud siya nga auto. So basically I'll be showing you ang akong workflow and even the uh, setup that I plan to have with this car. Are. Dili ko magtanaw sa instructions except sa part nga iset up na ko ang cover, ang cowl bitaw, and where to put the stickers. So, let's go! So I start off with cutting all the needed basic parts and then I lay them down on the table and make sure na easily visible and easy to reach sila sa akoa. Then I make sure that the joints where I cut them off from sa katong frame are smooth. Magsugod ko sa eyelets where the wheels make contact sa chassis making sure they fit properly. Up next, I set up the gears, the counter gears, the spur gears, making sure along the way na they fit properly in places where they're supposed to go. I put in the propeller shaft and make sure they fit. Up next, I slide in the wheel shaft and switch and the copper contact point sa battery. Then, I carefully install the wheels. This time, I plan to use the small diameter wheels but na ako'y issues ana nila where I will talk about them later on. I also make sure nga the wheels spin smoothly. I then set up the bracket as a ibutang ang motor, installing and making sure the copper contacts are properly attached. In this case, ang akong hyper dash kagi break in man before coming home from the shop, so na ay white nga pinion gear attached to it from the testing. Ako siyang gitangtang and gibutangan ako purple pinion gear, which is ang race legal spec nga gear. Once done, I installed the gear coverings first to make sure they would fit but, pero, 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 I highly advise you guys nga along the way, butangan na lang ninyo daan ng oil tanang gears and moving parts para di na mo mag-abli-abli later on. As for me, I just wanted to make sure everything fits first.
up next is the tail. Right now, what pamangkoy S2 nga tail. So I would settle first with the stock nga FMA tail. A small screwdriver is needed to attach the tail since a screw is required ani nila. Up next, rollers. Uh, sa akong setup, I'll be using DPRs or double plastic rollers. They're very essential sa pro stock nga build like this one para stable siya. Um, to avoid na ang DPRs mag up and down, kanang mag, mag kurug kurug, I opted to use bushings, hex nuts, and rubber spacers for this. Uh, this part is purely preference based ni siya and depende na ninyo unsaon pagbutang ang rollers. So, ako ara ning personal nga setup, you can make use of any other setup. Depende na ninyo. I then cut a small portion of the long rubber spacer with a cutter and cut sa akong desired nga length. Note that ang DPR nga shape na ay two sides, na ay flat and na ay coned nga side. It's always advised na ang front nga DPR, ang flat side is na asa ubos while ang cone side is na asa taas. I then cut rubber spacers again sa akong preferred na length para sa rear nga DPR and for the setup, ang flat nga side sa cone ang naa sa taas this time and ang cone is naa sa ubos. I put in the needed bushings and hex nuts depende na na sa ako ang setup. Ang nindot na nindot nga trick, no? Confirmed by Sir Mars for stable cornering is to put 16mm rollers uh, sa middle part sa kaninga chassis type. But again, depende na ninyo on how you want your car to behave. Make sure lang sa pro stock gani mo, uh, maximum of 6 rollers per car lang na siya. And you're actually done. All that's left is to put sticker sa cow and ako na lang fast forward na part ni siya. So what I shared so far is my personal nga workflow. Pwede ni ninyo i-try especially sa katong mga bago pa ni Balik ani na hobby just like me and uh, you know bago pa pod. Um, but this all boils down to personal preference lang yun. And na ay part da rin nga, akong giablihan tanang covers balik and then akong gibutangan na ug oil tanang mga moving parts. Again, if it's supposed to move, then ibon yun na siyang i-lubricate.
So uh, as I mentioned before, uh, I was supposed to use katong small diameter nga wheels pero grabe lang kaya siya kalapad. So masangit ang cow. So ang ending is ako na lang ning switch ang wheels sa akong Razorback og sa akong Mac frame nga same same ra sila og setup. So ang finished nga Razorback is medium diameter nga wheels whereas si Mac frame kay mao ang nagamit sa small diameter nga wheels. Anyways, thank you sa pagtanaw aning uh, vlog na pod, ganing uh, video. Um, if ever wala pa mo yung idea sa, kama, uh, sa makapalit o tamiya after all these years, um, check out Gyalmore Hobby Shop. Um, no, dili ko sponsored nila, pero ganahan lang kumo share jud asa uh, ko tig palitan sa ako mga tamiya parts o gear o everything else related to uh, tamiya. Located sila sa Mandawe City, Cebu. Uh, pangita lang na ang kanang iskina nga dan padung uh, Singson Village and left side sa road na ay gate that says Jobu Trading uh, na din ang shop. Uh, buutan ng mga tao dito and sige ko nilag papaliton dito nga walay pugsanay di sad ko mo balibad <laughs> uh, they're willing to teach you pod on sa sakto nga set up if you're uh, starting out but if you're too far away uh, or ganahan kag mga other Tamiya parts na ko yung mga kauban nga mamaligya sa mga local nga Tamiya Facebook groups uh, buy and sell nga groups especially sila uh, Jonathan James Gumabras and usahay si Takoyaki Boss aka Sir EJ uh, na maligya pod na sila uh, kauban ako na sila sa Guadalupe na group pod and they're good people so anyways, maroto bye bye